Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you how you can use the M84 decoder with your Merklin mobile station. So I got my track connector box connected to the track with the red and the brown wire. And it, of course, is uh, hooked up to the mobile station. And for your reference, the uh, version that I have right now is 3.112, which is current of uh, November 2020. But it should work with um, all the older versions of the mobile station as well. Then I have an M84 decoder. And as you know, the digital wires, brown and red, are connected to the digital input on the right-hand side. And then in this case, I have set the address to 1, which means the first dip switch uh, let me get it in focus. The first dip switch here on the left is moved up to the on position and all the other switches, including the last one, the number 10, are off. That means this M84 is switching in the Merklin Motorola digital mode. It is hooked up to the track and as you remember, the brown goes to the outer rail marked uh, O or 0 here on the right, on the bottom of the screen. And the red wire goes to the one marked B, which is here on the top of the screen. And that's how your decoder will get the digital power. And I'll simply connect this piece of C-Track to the other C-Track. And now we can take the uh, mobile station off of the stop mode and get some power going to the track and to the M84 decoder. Take it off stop. You can see it power up. The red flashing light means it's getting good digital power. And I'll hit the button with the turnout to the right of the red knob and that gets me to the keyboard menu. And now we can simply hit the first one, red and green, and you can see in the background there that the M84 decoder is switching along. So it's already working. On the top there you see we're having position 1 and 2 and I can switch here to position 2 and 3. You can see this does port number 2 and that does port number 3. And you can keep going further in the positions four and five. Of course, there is no five right now. There's only four ports on this M84, so nothing happens there. But then when I switch this one, green and red, you can see in the background that port number four is switching. Now it's important to, if this is not working, to check and make sure that you have the right accessory protocol you can switch between Merklin Motorola and DCC. And right now we do have it set up for Merklin Motorola. If you had switch number 10 to on, then you would use DCC. And now it's set for DCC and it would work in the DCC mode. And as you can see, I'm switching back and forth. And on the background you notice the M84 is no longer responding because the mobile station is sending out a DCC signal on address number one. So I go back here in the menu and switch the accessory protocol back to MM, which stands for Merklin Motorola. And now the keyboard should start to work again. And as you can see, it's working. Now, if you have a second M84 decoder, you can simply uh, set that to address 5, 6, 7, and 8, which would be right here, 5 and 6, sorry. And let's switch this decoder. I'll put the mobile station to stop, so there's no power when I do this address change. And I'm going to slide the first switch to off, and address uh, number five, 5 through 8 is easy. We just switch the second one to on. Remember, you can find these values in the instruction manual. And now with that set to, uh, with the switch, the second switch set to on, this should work, the keyboard should work for positions five, six, 
seven and eight. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. They call this keyboard one because this goes back to the old 6040 keyboards that they had. It had 16 digital positions on the keyboard. So if you would scroll to that uh, mobile station, keyboard one would give you 16 positions and then uh, starting at position number 17, you would get keyboard number two. That's where that numbering comes from. We will end this video with a short video clip I made at the toy fair in Germany of uh, one of Fowler's amazing container cranes in combination with their car system. Look how amazing that looks. Please help us out and subscribe to our channel so we can grow and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks much and see you next time.